Hey, welcome to a quick tutorial on saving your world. This topic keeps coming up in the discussion, so here's a quick tutorial. Let's get going. So I'm in a brand new world. I created this world using the uh, create new world option. You can find this on the dash over here on the right, create new world. Once you've created a world, you might add some stuff to it and then be like, woo, I want to save it. So uh, easiest way to do that is to go over to the session menu. Once you're on the session menu here, you will see that there is world save options here. Before you save a world, I recommend naming it. So I'm going to go up to the top here. It says world name, and I'm going to enter a name. We'll call this test because it's just a test world. T E S T done. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and hit save as. Save as is the first option you want to do for a world that you own. It will save the world and uh, populate it properly. So hit save as. This inventory will appear. You'll see that save here is grayed out and save to inventory is grayed out. This is intentional. I'll go through what each one means. Save here means that you're saving it to the world. You can save worlds inside other worlds. They can be sort of nested. I don't advise using save here, but it is an option. It is a very good option when you want to save a world locally. If you would like to save this world locally, as in so it won't touch the Neos cloud servers at all, Take this world orb to your local world. Your local world is the local one that you're hosting here. This is the worlds are in facet, by the way, link in the video description. Um, usually you'll want to save worlds to your inventory. You'll see that the option here called save to inventory is grayed out. Save to inventory will only become ungrayed out when you're in a folder that you own. You can see currently that my inventory within my dash is focused on essential tools. If I go back to my inventory, you'll see that save to inventory is now clear and I can hit save to inventory. Once this is saved to inventory as test, you'll see it disappears. That's fine. You'll see that the world is actually here, saved into my inventory, and when I double trigger on this, it reappears back here. Now, a good thing to note about world orbs is that that isn't the actual world. I could go ahead and delete this world orb, and it would be absolutely fine. It would never, ever um, disappear. The only time world orbs will disappear is if you explicitly grab the world orb, open up this menu, and hit delete world, and then hit confirm delete, and then hit permanently delete. That's saving a world in two minutes. I'll see you next time. Bye.